All right, here we are calculating the acceleration of Pluto around the sun. So I'll start with a picture. Here's our sun, and it's a circle we're assuming. It's not totally accurate, but it's close enough. Here's Pluto, and so Pluto is traveling in a circle around the sun. And the question is, why? And the answer is because the sun is exerting a force of gravity on Pluto, pulling it towards it. And incidentally, Pluto is also pulling back on the sun, but the sun's so much more massive, it doesn't really move very much, and Pluto is the thing that is in the motion. But in any case, that is what was responsible for the circular motion. And so as a result, we want to find the acceleration. So we're going to need to find Fg. And if you remember, the formula for Fg is big G times m1, which I'll call mass of the sun, times m2, which I'm going to call mass of Pluto, over the distance between them squared. And if you're looking at this, you might say, okay, well, I have the mass of the sun, and I have r, but I don't have mass of Pluto, so how can I do this problem? Well, it turns out we're not going to need it, and we're going to hold off here. This is one of those things where we're going to hold off on the numbers. So that is the force of gravity acting on Pluto. Now we say, are there any other forces acting on Pluto? Not really. So we can say that the force of gravity on Pluto is the net force acting on Pluto. And if you remember, the net force on an object from Newton's second law is the mass of that object, in this case the mass of Pluto, times the acceleration of that object, in this case the acceleration of Pluto. So that is the force of gravity, the, force, uh, the net force. And hey, we have this equation here. This is the formula for the force of gravity on Pluto. And again, we said this is equal to this, which is equal to this. So what I can do is I can set these two expressions equal to each other. In other words, big G times mass of the sun times mass of Pluto over r squared equals the mass of Pluto times the acceleration of Pluto. And again, the way I did that was I said I knew the net force and I knew the formula for just in general for net force is m times a. Now looking at this equation we can say wait a minute I have mass of Pluto on this side and this side they can cancel. So the mass of Pluto actually completely goes away leaving me with the expression, the acceleration of Pluto equals big G times ms over r squared. And so now it's just a matter of plugging in my numbers. I've done all the heavy lifting, solving and finding how to get the acceleration. Now I can plug in. And incidentally, this would work for any planet around the sun. It would work for Earth, Mars, again, as long as it's in a circular orbit, which, again, is an approximation here. But now I can just plug in. So big G is 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11. I'm just going to ignore the units here for now. Uh, the mass of the sun is 1.99 times 10 to the 30th, and the radius between them is 5.91 times 10 to the 12th, and that is squared. And so now I'm just going to plug this into my calculator. So 6.67 e to the negative 11 times 1.99 e to the 30th divided by 5.91 e to the 12th squared. When I do that, I get an acceleration of 3.8 times 10 to the negative 6, and this is an acceleration, so it's meters per second squared. Now you might look at that and say, that does not seem like a very large acceleration. And it really isn't, but if you think, Pluto is going in a circle. This is not a tight circle. You know, these are millions of miles, what this circle represents. So if you were to look at this, a gigantic circle, a big enough circle, for a lot of the time, Pluto's almost traveling in what would seem like a straight line. And so if it's doing a lot of straight line motion, there's not a lot of acceleration towards the center, and hence why this value is so small. But it is, in fact, um, you know, because compared to the distance that we're talking about here, it, it's enough to push it in a circle around the sun. So... Um, if you would actually calculate the speed of Pluto, right, remember acceleration is v squared over r. If you were actually to calculate the speed of Pluto and the radius, which is huge from the sun to Pluto, that explains why this number gets to be so small. Um, that's going to be the case for most planets around the sun. There will be pretty small accelerations compared to what we're used to seeing on Earth. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.